T minus three, two, one. Explosion, please. You see a military contractor destroying 100 tons of weapons in Iraq. But our experts see a shining beacon of supersized carnage. First thing you see is the light that's formed from the explosion. And the second thing is that you notice the tripod of the camera shakes. And this is because a shockwave from the explosion has traveled through the ground and is now shaking the tripod legs. And then the third thing is that we hear the explosion and we hear the sound. That's a clear illustration of the difference between the speed of light and the speed of sound. Very interesting, but what in the name of science is that? Do you see what looks like some sort of a halo effect? And what this is due to is the expanding gases of the explosion rush out rapidly, and they displace the normal air around them, and you have a region of low pressure. And surrounding this is all of the compressed air of very high pressure. And then surrounding that, you have your normal air. So as this area of low pressure air increases, it gets colder, and cold air makes clouds. For a fraction of a second, you're actually looking at a cloud of water vapor. There's some incredible physics going on here. So congratulations to these kings of carnage for proving that the bigger the bang, the bigger the science.